meaty in, in every fighting game is when you have a hard knockdown and you throw out a button that is not normally safe, but because they're on knockdown, they can't throw out a move quicker than you. So it's usually traditionally a heavy move, whether that be special or a normal heavy move. When you when Smashers describe meaty, it's because of how big the hit is. That's not a meaty, though. That's so just... <laughs> how do you feel about trying to get Smashers to convert from saying the word meaty to beefy? Because I feel I, like I beefy think means what they mean when they say Yeah, I, I agree with that. Because when I describe Smash, I will say that's a beefy hit rather than a meaty hit. Like We got to push this agenda ourselves. Yeah. If no one's going to do it, we got to do it. <laughs> like Meaty means something. And it doesn't it mean, mean what you'll think it means. <laughs> it's real to me. <laughs> it's real to literally every other game played. <laughs> All right, but we are getting the Ike Ditto. No secondaries here. We're just going to have two big boys swaying yeah, the big no. stick. Talking all this beef. Here's, here you go. Yeah, we got Sone in the Radiant Dawn Ike and Ragnarok in the... Uh, Path of Radiance. Path of Radiance Ike. I blinked on the title for a That's minute. okay. Everyone does. That's why we call it by numbers. <laughs> Ooh, nice... Monkeys! My, nice grab tech there. <laughs> Speaking of fighting games, that was a nice grab tech there. Oh. It's nothing else. <laughs> I was going to watch the VOD and comment. Uh, that that was a grab clank. <laughs> grab clanking. All right. But but still, these two have been playing Ike for as long as I could possibly remember. Oh, Ultimate, yeah. And I think even before Ultimate. Yeah, back in Wii U, both of them were Ike players. Both huge fans of Ike. Yes. And so... But someone's really giving Ragnarok the work right now. Already up a full stock. I feel like this is one of those kind of dittos where it's just whoever gets the momentum first rules with it better. Yeah, all right. Puts him off stage. Opting to go high. Able to get through. Nice counter there. Uh, I think he's... Oh, Ooh, wow. Doesn't get it. I think he might have had to have gone off stage with the counter. In order yeah, to, uh, I think Sone just spaced it perfectly low enough in order not to get hit there. All right. Going to the ledge this time. I think they were both trying to scout for short hop back air there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At least, like, you, you see how like, well they play the character by how, like, they're looking for the same options at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Always funny to me. Oh, just short oh. for some, though. All right. Yeah. But st uh, still quite a deficit to work back here. Gives Ragnarok a, a uh, bit of room to breathe as he tries to take back his deficit. A quick draw. Ooh. Yeah, it's, nope. it's nope. not the safest, but it is not as uh, unsafe as you'd think on block. All right. Panair into the back air. Puts him off stage. I feel like after the regrub, that would have been the yeah. time to go for And the really. dash attack. I thought he lived there for yeah, a second. Yeah, no, I think if he... What would he have needed to have done? I think if he jumped... I think if he jumped to augment his, uh, his air movement and then drifted back inwards, he would have been okay. Because Ike is on the heavier end, like with good DI, and that was good DI. Like, you're surviving it out. But Ragnarok wants more space. They're going to town. All right, back into the Ike Didu. Yeah, so once he got the momentum, just started running away with it there. Let's see if he's able to continue that into this game number two. Ragnarok putting on the grail colors for this town and city trick. I was trying to camouflage more into the background. <laughs> <laughs> it's all tan and green. I'm here for the uh, <laughs> Radiant Psyops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds wild for it. I feel like this stage in particular is really difficult to get off uh, ether kills because the plats are constantly there to interrupt you. But you don't right. need plats if you're just going to go for something simple like that. Down yeah. to forward, uh, forward air. Sometimes it's the simple things that you need to do. It really is. Like, let that be the lesson of the day where, like, it's cool to be fancy. That ferret managed to get rid of his up B. Yeah, I know. Ragnarok looking a little rattled right now. Zone opting to go to the stage there to get some extra damage. Can't afford to do so with quite a bit of a lead. Oh, yeah. No, his lead is hefty. Like, he's fine. Oh, wow. Landing on stage, I guess, knowing that uh, Ragnarok wasn't going to go for anything aggressive to respond. Yeah, just a simple grab. All right. With and the, the footstool. footstool. All right. All right. He's he able to get back. For it. <laughs> I would have been so here to see Ragnarok <laughs> kill him off of that. 
Oh, uh, going Flames high. Thing. Not able to kill with the dash attack, but that fair is going to trade. Yep, a very quick 2-0 in Soane's favor. I managed to get the three stock there, didn't die on the trade. Yeah, no. Unfortunate stuff for Ragnarok, but Soane just, you know, kept the game plan simple, got the damage, got the kills.